Well, they're starting to build for something, though. You feel this? But what? Go down, fella. Go down. Observe. What's going on? Oh! <coughs> now, before I even get settled down, you guys better be ready for this one, because this is about to be something kind of crazy. You're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about real soon. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to once again another reaction on another video recently posted on YouTube where someone went ahead and explored the back rooms and they, they found a little bit more than what they had bargained for. The back rooms became this really interesting urban legend type situation through 2020 and 2021 and still we're gonna thrive in now. And guess what? If you guys seem to have forgotten a bit about what this thing is or have never heard of the back rooms before then no problem. Let me just brief you real quick. If you're not careful and you know clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you'll end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum hum buzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. Despite the copious warnings from the internet, guess what, guys? Some cool kids thought they'd check it out, and guess what? They found a monster in there. Again, my friend Baz said to me that I should really watch this one. This is one of those gems which really cannot go unhidden, okay? You have to see this one. What's this? Wait. Yo, hold up, hold up. Is this guy creating a full series on the back rooms? I thought this was just one video. We've got this March 89 archive unlisted video. Yo, he's going like all in on this. This is even more better than what I thought. Okay. All right, then, man. We're going to get straight into this one. This is reacting to the back rooms found footage. The original creator and video is all linked down below. If you enjoyed this one, definitely subscribe because you'll see their video first rather than mine. Yo. Hold up, that just sounded like a plane flew about 2.7 foot from my ceiling. What's going on? Last but not least, if you guys do want to see more reaction stuff, I think you know exactly what to do. Let's do it. The backroom sound footage. It starts with a VHS tape being put in a player. Uh, thank you for the play. Camera. Rolling. All right. And okay. action. So what, is this sort of like some kind of school project? You see someone sitting in the back right there. Guys. Guys. Right, cut. Wow. Cut. So good. they're filming okay, something. Guys. All right, uh, that was good. I'm okay. thinking we get a wide angle and then we're done. Okay? All right, yeah, cool. cool. All right, fair enough. You know, you like usually like cut like? between takes, uh, a but... Right. A little more. Yeah. This yeah. is so yeah. casual. Oh, wait, hold up. He clipped through the floor. Yo, back rooms. <laughs> Hey, hey, hang on a minute, man. You can already tell this is about to go in. You know what I'm saying? That's sick. Okay, we're hearing everything that we, you know, were told. A short film by Kane Parsons. We see you. Whoa. Hello? Hey, how has he done this, though? This is crazy. Hello? Okay, this is the back rooms. We see all hey, this. Hey, guys. You just clipped through the floor. And you're here. What is this? this is eerie. And you see the cuts between as he wanders around this place. So confused. What man would make something like this? Who would want to work in this environment? And why would it exist, you know? All these questions that emerge. So, he clipped... Hello? The is someone there? Yo. Oh, <laughs> okay, hold up. My eyes are tearing up, guys. You see this again? Always when the terrors come in, my eyes react first. Let's see that again, though, when he pans around. Hello? There Is someone there? Something. Not someone. Watching him. Hey, man. You know you're in this place trying to find people? Yeah, I think they're trying to find you down here, too. Let's just enjoy this for what it is. Is that like a break in the wall or something? Very unnatural. Ooh, yo! Weird! So, so weird! Look at that! Man! Like, that's the thing about the back rooms. It's just like endless amounts of this, okay? You get nothing more. Just sandwiched together, one after the other. No real, like, flow to it all. You know, it's just got, like, odd room elements that you'd seen in office. Um. What the frick? And then there was a ladder? To a crawl space. Maybe that would be like a ventilation system? Hey man, for a ladder to be placed there, like... Someone else must have came through first, but then you gotta think like, how'd I get a ladder down here, you know? How'd I get a ladder? Okay. This place is a bit different. You see that had like a greenish hue to it? Okay, okay. Still going down. I'm, I'm gonna be real, man. This dude doing the walking? Very surprised how chilly is considering the scenario he's in. I'll be freaking out, I'll be screaming, and that's probably Can why anybody hear me? Than him. And now he's matched my pace Hello? by talking nice and loud. God damn it. Someone hears you, someone hears you. And this is a- Oh, yo, you see that? 
in the shadows right there. What is that? There's someone. You know, it's the concepts that get me more than what you can see. This is the beauty about creation. It's something I learned actually when I studied media at college. It's actually more effective to leave that space blank as it's doing right now versus show us what's in there. Because then your mind starts to run and create the true horror for yourself. It refines this horror to be terrifying for every person who sees it, you know? Because you're envisioning the horrific stuff that's back there. Uh, if not, there's nothing there, to be honest. So that's kind of interesting, right? I figured. Yo, there's arrows back there. Hey, you wanna go straight ahead? Yeah. Now he's panning, he's panning. Someone else must have been down here at some point. All those things. They're like right on the walls and stuff. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I mean, you'd think to follow the arrows, right? Okay. Someone's drawing them. What? What the hell? That's one way. Yeah, that's a chill reaction. What the heck, indeed? Look at that. Someone's drew a window. Not the stars? Did that say? Hold up, hold up. Yo, that's messed up. Yo, oh! Yo that's a monster down here! What the freak was it? It's like a wire monster! He's moving now! Oh, yeah, that thing's hunting him down! <laughs> oh. That's actually messed up though! Just run, you've already been running too long. Is he speaking human now? Do you hear the sounds? It's like... It sounds like it's making human-like sounds. Yeah, you keep going, fella. Don't look back. Do not look back. But that sound is starting to fade. Yeah, he keeps going. That's the smart thing to do here. I, I think even though it's a no run. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what is that, man? It's like the glass thing that you play. You know, like the circus amusement things? Nah, you, you shouldn't. What other choice do you got? Wait. So he jumped down. Wait, this is like adding new law. Yo, what? There's some light over there. Is that a window? You go to it. There's a staircase, something kind of left right there. Blue light on the side, they got the urinal? Thank goodness I gotta take a bathroom break this far and my man probably has to too, you know? You gotta respect that. Where would you go? Is it like a kitchen or something? I have no idea. For the stairs first or nah? From the top down, he's filming. Wait. A light switch? You can actually turn the lights off in this place. So you could avoid the fluorescent light sound, you know? Oh, this is bizarre. Is that a window right there? Whoa, hold up. You can actually see outside. It's like a courtyard zone. Oh, what? You don't want to know where you've ended up, buddy. Bro, you hit this like wind and stuff. This is insane. This is like so, so much better than what I thought. This is really captivating. Like visually, this is telling an amazing amount of detail and story with very limited things said by the character. They don't need to be. We are seeing this like this, man. This is, this is insane. I love the outside shot. I love it. Okay. These weird sounds coming in. That don't sound like wind. We got some kind of rope on the floor. A trash bin. Like, what are these elements coming in from, you know? Where do they come from? <coughs> Yo! What is that? Is that a containment facility? That means that this place is legit. Or... Guys, I have no idea what to make of this. Oh my gosh. This isn't that, real. This I mean, real. I wish it was not, man. This, I wish it was not. This isn't real. Look at that, the edge. Finally coming. Hey, check what's in those, you know? Maybe we've got some documents. Highly doubt. I bet those things are bearer than this guy's sanity, though, you know? What's left of it? None left. Absolutely none. There's an exit door, though. Keep clear. I think it's worth a shot. I think it's worth a shot right now. I mean, it goes up a level, right? It's that same back room's vibe with the lights, though. Those typical square lights that you see in office buildings. Open to the outside, please. You gotta be kidding. Dude, it takes you back in. Can you truly escape this? It's like, once you're in here. Yeah. 
Remember those memories from the world as much as you can. Write them down on a wall. Maybe that's what that thing did. You know? Maybe that being was the last survivor before this place got to him. I don't know. Like, what do you do now, man? Like, what would you do in this environment? You can walk down the place. You can check around for any signs of life. Any way out, but... Is that just asking for way too much? You are the life in there, right? Well, this sounded built for something, though. You feel this? But what? Interference on the tape. That's it. Go down, fella. Go down. Observe. What's going on? Oh! Yo, that actually got my heart going. Yo, okay. It's the beast or something. Why are you throwing the chair for? You got no choice. You have no choice. The most crucial thing is to stay still. Oh my god, what the frick is- He's coming in. You better move slowly. Don't shuffle them feet too loud. What the frick is- Is that a jump though? It's got a slight kind of inclination to it. <laughs> it, it pushed him down! right now I was about to be saying like how was this footage even found that was my next question so um I think we're safe to kind of sit back in our chairs on our bed whatever we watch this thing on and assume that you know that main character yeah, I think only the camera made it out of that one, guys. I don't think our guy left that place alive. Like, I question at this point, does he clip through that? Like, he clips through the floor, spawns back in. Imagine you're just chilling, like, this is it. After all the horrors and you're already terrified, then you spawn in, literally atop the world and just fall straight down, man. You get no remorse at all from the back rooms. Let's see this monster frame by frame. Like, what even is that thing comprised of? It's like wiring or something? That thing drops the head, but straight on your forehead. Look at that. Wait, no, no, no. By taking it frame by frame. Look at this. It grabs our man and the camera leaves him. Oh my gosh. So he's kept in the back rooms. That man's, he's gone. The only evidence that ever came back out was his camera. So what stays in the back rooms, which goes in with a heartbeat, probably ends up remaining in there for the rest of time. Absolutely captivating. Like, back rooms has been around for years now as a concept, but I have to say, this is hands down the highest quality execution of this concept I have ever seen. I am way too immersed into this already. I love stuff like this, dude. I'm absolutely loving this wave on YouTube where talented creators, they have the skill set and they're able to create incredible things like this. Like, bro, make a Patreon or a Kickstarter for episode two, please. I'm gonna point you straight towards Kane Pixels one last time, okay? This guy does not not have enough subscribers, okay? He deserves an incredible amount of support for just bringing this concept to reality. Like, what else can this man seriously do? So this part here says September 23rd, 1996, and there's a YouTube link below. Clicking that thing brings us to some weird archive on an unlisted video. So we had to search there to find this thing. Well, the thumbnail like that, bro, you got me watching this. Let's go. Could this represent some kind of origins of how this place was discovered? Data not accessible. Wait, we got two minutes of this? Wait, 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 wait. No, I don't believe this for one moment. Reformatting. To access the data, maybe. Remove that level of encryption so they can see loadingarchive.tar. But I don't know why TIR is. I don't care, though. So this was archived from 1989. Were they messing with the back rooms? This is incredibly eerie and so suspenseful. Wow. So, what is this? Some kind of circuit board? Like a layout? Did they manufacture the back rooms as part of some kind of computer generated thing? Is that what we're seeing here? These imagery? Wait, what? That's like a flooding room or something like that. You seeing this? So, there was a burst pipe in there, absolutely filling this place up with liquid. I don't know what we're seeing here, guys. 
Like, what's he doing? He's taking readings on some kind of machine and he's writing down the results. Like, they censored this man. They don't want his identity getting out there. He was doing some important work then. Instantly, that makes me think. And what that might be, I'm really hoping we get some kind of archive to find out. So we see this huge computer, massive piece of machinery, all doing something. Are they creating some kind of computer-generated place that people can enter? The whole no clipping it's like a real-life glitch. Look, this might be like a full server room where they use all the computing power to generate the room. And somehow, like, some kind of sentient life is living inside of it? I don't know. The more images we see, maybe we'll start to understand. Wait, wait, what? Hold up, because on his computer, he also has the same back rooms if we look down through his window. But what is this? Null Zone 4 due to the something something. Yo, I can't read that. Hold on, let me go small screen a sec. Okay, LDOE God has actually deciphered that, but I'll be reading that once we're done with this. Let's get back to this. So it says something. Null Zone 4. There's a, a cutout point. Like, what's this Null Zone 4? They are sectioning off from that point there. And then... What am I seeing? What on earth am I seeing? Is this the workings of whatever's creating the back rooms? There's an intense light down the far end there. And this was the archive footage from everything that they had. And I guess the tape's gonna cut in a moment, right? <laughs> But what does it mean? Okay, guys, so let's take a read then. I've been able to read the text about Null Zone 4, and this is how it goes. Due to the elevation discrepancy between panel 225 and 234, a small KX field is created. Now, I don't know what that means, but again, this guy has broken down exactly what it seems to mean. Now, I've done some research, and apparently a KX field is an electromagnetic field of some sort. It has an intensely complex mathematical equation. I won't even bother writing it. Elevation discrepancy, on the other hand, is interesting. This measures something's altitude, elevation speed, and discrepancies in elevation. Discrepancies occur when something is moving faster and faster to a point where the speed is not going to increase. So my guess is that they made these null zones to prevent the monster from the original video hurting the scientists and maybe even not let the monster kill any kind of test subject. The guy who was chasing the original video? Because in the video, there were holes in the walls, ground, etc. And the monster simply could have went after the guy, but didn't. My guess is the null zone for that. So this guy is theorizing that when the guy or our character actually fell through the floor at that section and the monster then proceeded not to chase him. That must have been one of these null zones. Something about those is preventing the monster from being able to chase down our character. The sole reason then why the guy with the video camera in the first footage was captured is because he went through that exit door. He went back up to the other level. So he went back even though he had actually escaped the monster, but he did not realize he'd, he'd gone away with the danger. He was just still looking for help. I believe as well what he's saying is this scene here. This could be a scientist working from the confinement of outside of the KX zone. So the monster can't come for the scientist. This glass might even be some kind of safety point itself, you know? I don't know, guys. I might be talking absolutely butt crap. Guys, I am leaving with tingles. Like, you know when you get that kind of excited feeling, you can get those uh, weird effects that you feel throughout your head? I'm actually leaving with that understanding, like, maybe this guy will choose to further this as a video concept even more. I am completely on board with this thing so, so much. I would love to see a follow-up part. Maybe someone who finds the tape then proceeds to do a little bit of investigation. They might contact someone who also knows about these experiments that were happening, knows about the KX zone, stuff like that. This could be an incredibly satisfying thing to be watching, and I hope it makes more. I mean, hey, hold up. I'm subbing to this guy. I said before, everything is down below. If you guys want to react to this yourself, you can do it. This was the backrooms found footage. If there has been other ones on this, I do apologize for not being able to see them before, but this is hands down the greatest rendition of the backrooms created in that style that I have personally seen. I've been loving bringing the reaction stuff to the channel a bit more, guys. It's created a great variation of content alongside the games. I am still really enjoying the game and stuff, but being able to to take it chill, sit back and watch things too, and just analyze these bizarre worlds that people are creating with their talent. It's so much fun. But all right, man, that's where we're gonna leave this one. This was I said before, looking at the back rooms and also that strange archive tape and if this guy releases more, you know I'll be covering it. But this one here though, guys, this is where we're gonna leave everything and I really hope you did enjoy this one. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.